<laughs> well, you're the one that has the mouth open. So, okay. So here we're going to go. Chris, whoa, 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 Chris, Chris. Hey, hey, how are you doing? All right, so what we have is y equals x squared plus 6x minus 5, all right? So what we're going to do, Mallory, is I'm, we're going to go through the exact same process again. So when we talk about steps, we're going to do the same thing. But now my directions are a little bit different. So Thomas, over here, what I, or I'm sorry, previously on your quiz, what I asked you guys to do is solve, right? I said find the value of x that makes this equation true. And we set our, when we set our equation equal to 0. Right? Our whole, all of our equation was equal to 0. Now, I'm not asking you to solve. I don't want you to find the value of x that makes it true. Now what I want you to do is put this in what we call vertex form, but we're still going to complete the square. So therefore, we need to follow exactly our step-by-step -step process we did for solving by completing the square. So the first thing I always like to do, why make this harder than we have to? Isolate what we're going to complete the square. So y plus 5 equals x squared plus 6x. Right? So the same step applies. Isolate your variables that you're going to complete the square with. Now I know you have a y over here rather than 0, like we did before. But still, isolate what you're going to complete the square on. Then step number 2, b divided by 2, square it. So therefore, we have 6 divided by 2 squared equals 3 squared which equals 9, right? And then we add that to both sides. So add to both sides. So with using proper language, we will add that 9 to both sides. So therefore, now what I'm going to have, and let's make this a red 9 just so you guys can follow me a little bit. So I'm going to take that 9 that I figured out, and I'm going to add it to both sides. So therefore, I have y plus 14 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. All right. So now the next step is to factor the side that we just created our perfect square trinomial. Hopefully, you guys have understood that factoring this every single time is going to give you a binomial square. Right? That's why we do all this, is to get a binomial square. So you can do the factoring, the diamond, and do, oh, this is going to be x plus 3 times x plus 3. But hopefully, with a little bit of effort, you guys will get used to this and say, oh, that's going to be x plus 3 squared. If you get stuck on the factoring part of it, remember, it's always x plus b divided by 2 squared, which you could go over here and say, what was b divided by 2? Well, that was 3. So it's going to be x plus 3 squared, right? And then that equals y plus 14. So now, to get solve for y, we're going to subtract the 14. And we have y equals x plus 3 squared minus 14. And that is what we call vertex form of a problem. OK? Good job, guys. That's it? You leave it at that? That's it. Woo!